magic and tricks why we get mesmerized by these stuff is it because they are rare and unbelievable and also many of us feel that the people who do these things especially playing with cards and numbers are smart and gifted we often try to know their tricks but we fail what is that process which is being hidden what is that thing which is always perfect and still unknown if i say it's math will you believe it well you will believe it just after this session so consider a number now double that number and add 6 to it now give half of the resulting amount to your friend and also take out the number you considered finally you are left with 3 right you might be amazed by this and curious to know the answer well we'll reveal this trick to you but you will have to wait for some time let's try another one this time i'll tell the numbers of brothers and sisters you have including you for that take the number of brothers you have including yourself if you are a male if no brother take 0 double the number and add 5 to it now multiply with 5 to this resulting number and add the number of sisters you have including yourself if you are a female add 0 if none you would have got a two digit number right and here i display something for you Well, it's not the end. It's just some of the standard numbers people usually get. I'm sure you want to know this as well, but again, I'm going to keep you waiting. Let's face the last one. Okay, this is a card game, and I'll tell you the number of cards you are holding. So select few cards out of a pack of 52 cards. You may pick any number of cards, even the entire 52. Now, Add the digits of the number of cards you picked and remove them from your set of cards. For example, if you chose 32 cards, then remove 3 plus 2 that is 5 cards from the set of 32. Okay, that's it. You need not do anything else. Now I'll tell you how many cards you are remained with. And if you have no cards, that means you chose nine or less than that many number of cards. I'm sure you enjoyed the puzzles, but now is the time to reveal the trick, reveal the mathematics behind all this. So let's see them one by one. Whenever I face such puzzles, I normally substitute the number with zero, and if I still couldn't figure it out, then I considered it as x. Do you also want to try this with the first trick? So repeat the same process by considering the number zero. You will get three only, but there is something to notice. If you look closely, you are having the number which I gave you, and nothing else is happening. When you do the process with x you will come to know that it happens with any number you take the only important thing is the number which i gave you you may repeat this trick by taking 5 from me then you will be left with 2.5 and here i reveal the second trick so assume zero brother and zero sister just for the sake of understanding this logical math trick follow the rules and then you see 
you will get 25 did you get something out of this okay let's try with x as number of brothers including you and repeat the same process double it add 5 to it multiply with 5 add the numbers of sisters that is y now did you get anything let's remove or subtract 25 from this expression so it becomes 10x plus y isn't it the general form of two digit number if your number was 37 then 37 minus 25 is equal to 12 in general form it is written as 10 into 1 plus 2 so x is 1 and y is 2 which can be easily seen and now I can say that you have one brother and two sisters including yourself let me modify this table a bit Unfortunately, this idea works for only two digit number. But with some modifications done, it may work out for any number. And for that, we'll have to take help of magical math. You may try finding its solution and write back to us. Now let's come to the third trick, the card trick. Look at the numbers and observe. Isn't it the table of nine? Yes, this is the logic. When we subtract the sum of the digits of a number from that same number, it's always the multiple of 9. And if you are playing this game with your friends and want to know the exact number of cards with them, then by looking at the thickness, you will have to decide whether it's 9, 18, 27, 36 or 45. Not only this, you can also take two packs of cards because this mathematical trick works for any number of cards. But at the same time, you must have the idea of the thickness. So it's better to play with 52 cards only. And yes, next time if someone is playing with number tricks, please make use of your logic and of course math. If you have got any trick with numbers, please write to us. We'll try to find it out and let you know the mathematical logic behind it. Before sharing this video with your friends, surprise them. Thank you for watching.